get to the ferry now. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Sarah Pedun and today I'm taking you on my journey to Amolatar district through Lake Yoga. Thank you everyone for subscribing, watching, sharing and liking my videos. Guys, as I was recording, I saw this. This really freaks you out when you're traveling. Hope no one died in that accident. For those who are watching me for the first time, you are very welcome. Please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting on my video so I know your thoughts. I'm traveling to Amolatar district for an introduction of a very, very dear friend of mine. And yeah, I'm so excited, so excited for the next day. I just can't wait to reach there. Uh, by introduction, I mean the traditional marriage. So I am using public means, um, I'm using a taxi, but guys, it is a bumpy ride. The taxi I'm using is quite old, and yeah, the seats are really hard, but I'm not complaining. Someone has to get to the ferry. It has been quite a long time since I last traveled on this road. A lot has changed. And I'm actually excited for the changes. At this point, we had gotten lost. We took another road. Yeah, but here there's always... Guys, I think you cannot get lost in Uganda. There's always someone willing to direct you. Even offering to, like, really take you to the place if possible. So, yeah, we asked around and we got moving again. Just like most trips in Uganda, there were very many things to buy by the roadside. The drivers usually know where the, the passengers love to stop and buy fresh stuff from. Like here, I bought some tangerines. They were really, really healthy. They looked very healthy. And... Mm, bigger than the ones I usually buy from Kampala. There were mangoes, there were sweet bananas, and the price were really relatively cheap. So yeah, that's a bonus for those who go up country. You guys, you, you, like the mangoes were so huge, and I think they ripened on the tree. They're not forced to ripen, they just ripened on the tree. Lovely. Notice the little boy by the roadside. He's, I think he's very disciplined. He didn't even try to move. The time we were there, I was worried that maybe he would come closer to the taxi. He was just playing with his stick. didn't really bother. Life in the village is so... So stress free, guys. It was about two o'clock, and the guys were just sitting under the mango trees. I saw some guys picking mangoes, like fresh mangoes from the tree. Others are playing omweso, a common game here in Uganda. But just not so bothered. The cows are grazing by the roadside. There's no traffic. People are riding the bicycles. Isn't it beautiful up country? I love this. So I've tried to slow the video down so I can show some of you who haven't yet seen cotton. The white stuff is dry cotton. 
Yeah, like it was so beautiful. I just couldn't get a clear shot of it. I'm sorry, guys. I will show you next time a perfect one. Maybe I'll show you myself picking the cotton. But yeah, that's cotton for you. People here grow lots of cassava. So what you're seeing is cassava. It's beautiful when it's still short like that. So finally, when we get to reach where we're going to board the ferry from. Guys, I was so relieved to get out of the taxi. It was a long ride. It was like about four hours. And when I like, it was long. So when you arrive here, you have, to, you have to register with the police. You must have an ID, at least some, some form of identification card on you, either driving license, national ID, like at least passport, something to show who you are. Hi hey guys, after I arrived, we're getting in shortly. Um, the music is so loud. I know. You would have just said women. Go. They should make a first move in front of you with this talking. So at the ferry, they let the ladies go first. For some reason that I really don't know. Maybe the ladies are more graceful, calm and collected. Okay. Uh, I don't know about that because they told us to go on a line and we went in like 10 lines. So. Oh, perfect. But we're going to be behind, right? Are we not going to be the last? Uh is it being moved? Not yet. But now I've started getting illusions. So yeah, we are off from the ferry. Not that one, but the other one behind. You be both. <laughs> so my friend Monica and I have arrived at the venue. We are all excited. We are excited for the next day. But yeah, even at the moment, we are so excited. Yeah. Being up country is so much fun. Nice yeah. you just look how we're moving. You don't have to watch out for any cars or any border borders. Wow, it's so relaxing. I can't wait for the next day, guys. I wanted to run around. I wanted to ride a bike. I wanted to go and fetch water from the borehole. I wanted to do, like, almost everything. So later that evening, we had a fire set. That's me right there. Well, we danced by the fire. We told stories, met new friends. Like, we were actually quite many surrounding the fire. It was a lovely evening. And yay, the big day was here. So guys, if you love this video, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, share. And leave me a comment. I can't wait to see you in the next one.